I was out here in Greg's RC garage working on a project that went a little sideways with my Arma sentence. So right now I'm waiting on parts, but I still wanted to RC today. Luckily, I have this box sitting here. I oftentimes check out a website called Slick Deals and they had what I consider to be a slick deal on what's inside this box. Inside here, we have a new RC. What good are you? Let's flip this over and I'll show you what I got. Right here. This is my new Low C 22S SCT. It's beautiful. It's glorious. It actually works. The deal that I got on this was that it's usually a $230 truck. I got it for 140 bucks. And I felt like that was just too good to pass on considering that it has everything you need to run with the exception of a battery. And I just happened to have one sitting here that was going to go in the Arma, but I, uh, you know, we'll use it on this instead. Let's crack into this and see if this thing is as amazing in real life as it is in these photos and what I saw on Amazon. Oh, wow. That's a thing of beauty. Oh my gosh. And they gave us batteries back here too? That's crazy. Okay, let's start lifting stuff out of here, particularly this. Dude, I love that, man. That is so darn cool. What do we got holding on here? Oh, I see what you're doing here. Don't worry, we'll have you freed in a moment. I really should add scissors to my RC toolbox. Instead, I, I come in and I use my wife's kitchen shears that I never put back and she gets very upset. Cut that, cut that. They'll, I'll forget those, those will be in there. Freed from its prison, we'll take pins out. This is what I should have ordered on Amazon along with my pinion gear that I needed. I like to get those pins that have the little pull tabs on them, very much like what they have here on the very broken Arma Sentin. You see how those are and how they're attached? Man, that's so nice. You never lose them. They're always there and they're easy to pull out. But I am not complaining for $140. I'll take whatever you give me. It's out here. Look how clean that is for the last time in its life. Beautiful. One thing I did notice when I was buying this is that this had this type of connector and all of my stuff seemingly has this type of connector. So I bought a little something. For that, we have to actually go down to Greg's RC storage room of doom. Careful in here, guys. It's a little scary. Here's my RC toolbox, which I don't know why I'm still using. I bought this like two years ago to use. It's a Craftsman. I was going to make a video on it, which now that I'm doing this, I will. But this is what I came down here for. These are like adapters to do what I need to do. I hope this works. Otherwise, I have to make another order on Amazon today, which, uh, you know, I think one's enough. What I need is just one one little pinion gear. That's a video you'll see relatively soon. It was gonna come out before this, like that was gonna be the thing today. <laughs> now it's now it's low C and that's, that's quite all right. Anyways, that's all behind the scenes stuff that you probably don't care about, but there's the conversion that I did. And then that just goes in there like that. And you're good to go. Where does the battery sit at in here, I wonder? Hmm, there's gotta be like a clip or something, right? Like you wouldn't have to take screws off to get in where the battery goes, would you? That seems crazy. It's even crazier that I don't just look it up, but I, now I wanna figure it out on my own. Oh, ooh. no. You wouldn't put the battery in through the bottom, would you? I guess you just turn these that way and then that pops open. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Not terrible. I have to unhook this though. I've never seen that before. I guess this is what having a low is like. Just stuff that all down inside there and then Okay, at least you don't need like a screwdriver for this because that's what I was thinking initially. I was like, well, we're gonna be taking this with us every time we go out riding this thing. We got that flipped over. So far, so good. We'll just replug this back in to this. It does kind of keep things clean in there though, doesn't it? And it, Nice and safe, that's not coming out of there unless, unless that door comes busting open, I guess. Let's open this up and maybe we'll unveil some secrets. This feels like Christmas out here. I kind of love it. All right. Transmitter. You know what? <laughs> Check this out. Speaking of Arma, it's the same one. Only this one did not get dropped on the uh, ground off of a shelf and get almost broken open, but still works. I'm happy with that. I do like ones that have rubber on the outside here. It just feels more premium to me, but that's nitpicky. And they gave me batteries, so double win in my book. Let's rip those babies off of there. The brand is Piss, Pissel? Pissel, I don't know. At least I don't have to go into my collection. All right, we got manual here. What's the difference? 
uh, felt material. And then we got Losi sticker. Put that on the uh, Subaru. That'd be pretty sick. It's my first Losi, actually. I've been a Traxxas and Arma and Red Cat guy this whole entire time. There's something I really love about putting batteries in things. It's very satisfying, and also it's pretty cool because you know you're leading up towards something really awesome. Don't mind the dirt on my hands. That was from the Arma incident from earlier. Anyways, on. Before I put the body of this back on, I'll make sure this thing actually works. On. Beeps. Sounds good. And it drives. Let's go for a little bodiless test run out here. Wow. Turning on it is nice. All right, now let's make it look cool. Today happens to be Clark Mann's last full day of school and he's gonna be pretty tickled when he gets home and sees this thing sitting here. I can't wait to show him. Where did I put those pins at? Oh, they all fell off. Okay, okay. At least three of them did. Oh, there's number four. This truck, with how inexpensive it is, this might end up becoming our next RC Park truck because we can afford to beat it up a little bit being that it's, it's pretty affordable. Now comes the kind of tricky part because I want to control this but also show you what it's like. We'll take it out here and we'll do a little bit of a, a speed run. I haven't done any kind of trim or anything, so we'll see how it is. Holy, oh my gosh. I had no idea this thing was this fast. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll just set you down for just a second here while I bring it back. Oh my God. First uh, flip and no body damage. <laughs> you can take a little easy on this thing. You can actually turn the throttle down a little bit, but we never do that. We're just gonna be a little more careful. A little more gentle, if you will. That's not even full throttle. Wow, that thing is awesome. I love the color scheme too. There was another version I think that was black, I believe, but we don't have any yellow in our fleet. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to, to add that in. And it's kind of what it looks like from all the different angles. As I trip over a tennis ball, Thanks, Roxy Bear. Wonder how it does in grass. Let's give it a shot down here. Our grass is pretty much all dead because it hasn't rained in about six weeks. It goes. Not super fast. But it made it through my brown grass dying straw hay, I guess is what it is. Probably best for on-road action or dirt. Imagine in dirt, this would be amazing. So we got to find a dirt track or like I have a dream of like, there's our garden, which is again, not doing very well. Imagine that just being like an epic dirt track, like all out here, you could have it come all the way up here. We can make this a serious operation out here, I think. Life goals, you got to have them. That's one of mine. Turning radius on point, the lean is crazy. I'll punch you guys in so you can see what that looks like when it's doing the turns. It just leans like crazy, the suspension, I can't even speak, I'm just so impressed. $140 on this, incredible. I'll put a link below to Amazon if you guys wanna try this thing out. I don't think it's gonna be that price, unfortunately. But if you're wildly impressed, there you go. If you want to hold your purchase off until we get an official review by an expert, Clarkman's going to be home any minute now, and he'll show you what this thing's actually like, what his thoughts are. Waiting for the bus to pull in, and I just remembered how much I love running these in the garage, and you'll be able to see why. Right here. I can hear the kids yelling from all the way in the garage. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can drive this into the Clark, man. Might be kind of funny. Get ready for it. Should be running right about now. Okay, there it goes. And he's running and... Clap your hands if you think Clark's a great YouTuber, and everybody's like clapping. Wow. As I get out of the bus, I'm like, yes! That's crazy. Did you notice a little something here? Wow. It's super fast, so you've been warned. 
I flipped it on my first run. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> yeah. That's the answer. Back it up. Go see we can. Okay. Back it up. Give it a rip. And here we go. Woo! It's still in the tree? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> What happened to the mulch? No. Dude. Bruh. <laughs> he doesn't like the grass very much. I tested yeah. that earlier. I was thinking we should go to the park and run it. Oh. We got more obstacles there and a little bit more space. Oh, what perfect timing, actually, because... Oh. Oh, ooh, the steam. A thing of beauty, really. Oh, my nose. Does it get any better than having the last day of school News RC truck and then and enchiladas for dinner. You guys live in the life here. I'm kind of sad that I'm going to third grade. I'm kind of scared. Why? Because Carson says they go like at a really fast pace. Like oh, you'll be fine, so, like, dude. Fa this, he said the teachers go faster than Miss Boy at like saying the spring math answers, which she does that really quick. You, like I can barely catch up. You'll be fine. You're a smart kid. You can handle third grade. If you pass second grade, it means you're ready. I bet the bell ringers are just going to be like unit reading tests. They're having you <laughs> learn Albert Einstein's equations. <laughs> third grade. No, okay. Million divided by million. Million divided by a million. I think you know that one already. Zero. Wrong. It's I, one. One. I, yeah. I, you're not going to third grade. You're done. <laughs> you're done. All right. This is not a cooking video or a dinner video, but... It's what we're doing in between RC events. So uh, we'll see you at the park. Let's see if anybody's in our spot. Oh, Clarkin. I remember being here a little this, this last week. There's nobody here. Imagine we got here and we forgot the truck. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh yeah, we could take it down there. That's where I blew the wheel off my Traxxas the one time. How are you turning this bad boy on? It's uh, the back right there. But just hold on, I gotta turn this one on first. Okay, there, on. <laughs> Holy! It landed! Then we're gonna full send it like that. Oh my god. Get a little windy out here. <laughs> yeah, she's fast. Okay, let me get that thing up to speed. Show you how it's done. All right, here we go. Man, that is perfectly straight. And he comes back. I'm gonna hit the brakes, okay? Whoa! Whoa! That was like perfection. I mean, I couldn't film it that well. <laughs> okay. That was Clark Man filming. Thank you, Clark Man. I'm sure that was. I'm sure it looked as awesome and camera as it did in real life. It's like perfect braking. I might do a little ramp, Jones, just Okay. Like Let me get the shot from over here. It just don't hit this tree. <laughs> I was hiding. <laughs> that first one was wild. I just didn't even expect that to happen. The caution keeps falling off. Let's rip it into the spots up here, into the mulch. This right here is what I ran my Traxxas into and blew the whole front end of it off. It was right, it was that one right there. I went off the road and boom! Hey, Daddy. Yeah. What if we like set it down the slide? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> just, just a little gas. Let gravity do most of the work. Oh, try doing a kickflip. Uh, going up. Send it, Clark man. I guess I do have to full I it. I'll count it. It's good. Yes. <laughs> now you can go back down. This is where it gets a little dicey, boys. Here we go. Turn. Oh. <laughs> I think I can do it. I can do it. Let me show you how it's done, Clark man. 
Here we go. Never mind. You suck, Never dog. <laughs> I don't think there is. I don't think there. Oh, don't do that in my face. Ow! Got him. Yo, look at the mulch in its new shape. Oh, uh, we don't want to mess the mulch. Let's have some respect for the mulch. We'll take it back out on the road here. Guess how much I paid for this truck? How much? Guess. Nothing. No, more than that. Uh, ten. More. A thousand. Less. Ten. More. <laughs> A hundred. Little more. Uh, two hundred. Less. Uh, oh, okay, it was one thirty. I saw. Or 140, I think, yeah. Okay. okay, drive it down that. Sorry for the wind noise if it's ruining the audio. Can't control that. Just watch out for that bench, because I've been there. If you go off the road, it's lava. You going backwards? Nope. Oh, okay. Going Coming back. Oh, you got a little squirrely. Because the wind was like... Did something fall off that or was that just trash out there blowing? I think that was just like mulch. Oh, Ooh, they just paved this. They just did? Yeah, look how fresh that is. You can see where they where they drove in. Bro, mm -hmm. you're running into my legs. I can't go That's as fresh as it gets. Go ahead and give it a run out there once. Yeah. Fresh pavement. Whoa. Dang. Whoa. Oh, that was so close. I know, I just got so scared. That was me. almost another Greg's RC Garage <laughs> repair video. <laughs> I almost got it. I had to review the footage. That was like that far from <laughs> just drifting right into that baby. Yeah, you easy. had this whole area, Clark, man. <laughs> oh, my ankle. <laughs> Hey, let's put it on 50 throttle and see what happens. It's like Look, the fastest it'll go? See, no, this, that's at 100. Let's see what 50 is like. That's like Clark mode. <laughs> Big babies. Here, hold that. Here we go. This is full, full throttle. Pin down 50%. Let's go. Can you track it, Clark man? <laughs> it's going to break the sound barrier. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, now 100. Okay, that's no match. I'll come back through. Oh. <laughs> you deserve that one a little bit. I, I filmed it going through my legs. So upside down. That's the only obstacle. That's why I got this, right? For kids. For kids at heart, really, right? It's for everybody. I'm curious to see how long the battery lasts. We've been running this thing for a good bit. 50 is like terrible. 75? Yeah. I mean, that, this is for 75. Yeah, for eight year olds. <laughs> Too fast! And that's why you're gonna be on 50 from now on, forever. And that's why you, do you that. did land it though, so I'll give you credit. Oh God! I thought you were going to break here. Clark! <laughs> trying to get the send out shot here. Um, if only you could get closer. Closer. Oh, well, a little too close. But there you go, guys. That is the OC 22S. You guys will see plenty more of this truck as the summer wears on. Hopefully in one piece. Lord willing, we're going to be having a great time doing RC stuff here at Greg's RC and Clark's RC Garage. And it gets bigger and bigger. I'm getting out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was laying on two wheels on the side and right next to that tree. I was scared. I was wow, scared why too. Why is it so black? That's because they did the, the pavement. It wasn't black before. That was our truck. Our truck did that. No. Scared. No, what? Yeah. <laughs>